Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Bold Series. <laughs> and today what we're going to do is a 35 minute cardio core. So we are gonna pump that heart and we're gonna work that core. We are gonna be on the mat for a lot of the core activities, but a lot of times we'll be doing standing activities for the cardio. So we're, part of your cardio is gonna be getting up and down off the floor, which is always good practice. Now, I don't have any jumping in the cardio, okay? So it's just gonna be um, heart pumping actions, okay? We're gonna move quickly. We're gonna have a lot of fun today, but it is gonna be up and down. So grab your mat, your sweat tie drink, and of course your great attitude. <laughs> Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so I'll be a chance to grab your mat, your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some step jacks right here. Get those arms all the way up. Let's get that body pumping, that heart moving. Ooh, yeah, for three, two, last one. Let's open up those chest and those legs, right? We want that whole body moving because we are going to do some cardio. We've got three more like this, two more. Last one, this time let's take that elbow to the opposite knee. Boom, 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 oh yeah. Three more like this, two more. Last one, now this time we're gonna cut and straight that leg and try and touch that toe, boom, boom, boom. For three more like this, two more. Last one, okay, take those arms. We're gonna do a nice good circle right here and back up getting those hips those shoulders that trunk oh that feels so good let's do one more each direction down and around other side down and around then take that back and then i want you to hinge down okay reach on back hinge down let's do two more just like that reach on back hinge down let's do some deep squats get those hips moving and then straighten that leg hips down and straighten. Let's do two more just like that. Boom. And back. Let's go low and let's stay low and just open up those hips right there. Well, that feels so good. For three, two, last one. Let's put those hands right there on those knees. Let's do a cat and cow. In and out. In and out. For three, two, last one. Let's open up those hips and draw that shoulder to the opposite side. Oh yeah, boom, boom. One more on each side. Let's come on up. Let's do some big circles on those shoulders. Let's go the other direction, big circles. Let's go in and out, right? We want those arms and those legs moving for three, two, last one. Here we go, big hip circle up and around, boom. Let's do the other direction, up and around. Other side, up and around. Really working that hip. Woo, feeling good, other direction, up and around. Last one, okay. We're gonna walk, do some walkouts, get some shoulder movement in there. So walk that out, get input in that shoulder and walk that back. Try and keep those knees kind of straight. You're also getting those hamstrings. And back out. Let's do one more. Let's walk that baby out. Drop into quadruped. You're gonna take your hand behind. You're gonna lift that elbow up and then you're gonna try and touch that elbow down, okay? Lift that elbow up. Try and touch that elbow down to the opposite hand. Let's do one more on this side, boom. And back, really getting that thoracic spine. Lift, lift on the other side, down and touch. Nice, good trunk rotation. Lift that elbow. Last one. Oh, that feels so good. Let's stick that foot out there. Let's do a couple of down and moving that hip a little bit more. Two more. Last one. This time stay low and let's pop that toe up for three, two, one. Other side. Let's put that leg out and sit down. Three more just like that. Last one. Stay low. Pop that toe for three, two, one. Come back in. Take those, keep those elbows straight. Let's sink those shoulder blades in and out. Okay, moving those shoulders for three, two, 
Last one, come all the way down into child's pose, give me a nice relaxation, come up, drop those hips to lift that up. Okay, come on back, child's pose, oh, nice good reach, come up, drop those hips, look on up, we're gonna do one more just like that to finish out. Nice good child's pose, come on up, drop those hips, and let's talk about what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna start, we're gonna work today for 30 seconds, we're only gonna pause and do 30 seconds again. A lot of times that might be a right and a left, Sometimes it's just the same activity, okay? Today, this first one is gonna be a right and left. We're gonna do a plank dip. So we're gonna go onto the plank, okay? It's easy, it's hardest when you have them stacked. You can have them staggered, or if you need to, you can have your knee down. We're gonna come up, we're gonna tap that down, and then go back up. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, pause and go to the other side. Here we go, three, two, one, down, tap, and back up, okay? When you bring it up, you're almost coming up to a, like a diagonal, not straight up. It's up and out to give me a nice good extension. Okay, boom, and back. Halfway there, then we'll flip sides. You can roll to the other side. I'm gonna flip so I can still see watching you. <laughs> Woo. Okay, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, other side in three. Two, one, tap down, lift up, okay? Down and up. We'll get rid of the mat after this, okay? And we're gonna do some pull down knee drives. Okay, but you gotta get that nice, work this side, work those obliques, really feel like you're lifting with those obliques. Oh yeah, we're halfway there, come on. Boom, and down. All the way to that buzzer, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest, okay. We're doing a knee drive, okay? You're pulling down, driving that knee. We're gonna do right and then left. Feel like you're pulling, like when you pull down, it's gonna pull that leg up, okay? Pump that heart, here we go. We've got three, two, one, boom. Pull, drive, okay? This is heart pumping action, come on. Okay, are we using our core? Oh <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, drive that knee and pull it down. Like I said, it feels like when you pull it down, there's like a string to your knee and it just drives that up. 15 more seconds, we'll pause on just flip sides, okay? Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, other side, here we go in three, two, one. Dry. Okay, we'll go back down on the mat after this. Like I said, we're gonna do it a lot. Some of our cardio may just be going up and down from the mat. Come on, we're gonna do a toe touch leg drop after this. Come on, you got 15 more seconds. Pull that down, drive that knee, left rocket. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest, okay, on our back. Okay, we're gonna toe touch. We're gonna get those shoulder blades off, touch that toe, and you're gonna drop those legs. Now you can drop one at a time. Okay, what I want you to do is don't let that back arch. Keep it nice and steady against the mat. Here we go, three, two, one. Toe touch, leg drop. Okay, it's easier for one. Sometimes I can do two, but I really wanna make sure I am not arching that back and I'm controlling it. So it's a lot easier to do that one, really making sure I'm paying attention to that low back. Okay, when that starts to arch, guess what? We're not working those that core like we designed. We're compensating, okay? So stay focused. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Pause one more time. Here we go in three, two, one. Reach up and down. Okay, you don't have to touch your toes, but you gotta get your shoulder blades up off the ground. Give me that nice, good crunch, and then drop that leg. We're going up for cardio after this. 15 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer, you got it, come on. Woo, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do some squat circles. Okay, so we're gonna squat it. We're gonna go counter, 
and then clockwise or clockwise and counter. And then we'll pause and we'll do the other side after the, on the second set, okay? Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat and pivot. Come on. All the way around. And then go the other direction. Come on. So you're pivoting around the same leg. And then we'll pivot around the other leg on the second side. Come on. Squat that baby out. And pivot. 15 more seconds. Oh, yeah. And we'll pivot on the other side. You're doing awesome. Come on. We've got four, four three, two, one. Other side. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Pivot the other side. Come on. Woo. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go down to the mat. We're going to go into that low plank position. And do plank dog. Come on, stay focused. You got it. Come on, about 10 more seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Sometimes I really love that word. Okay, low plank. So on those forearms, okay? And you're gonna just rock those toes right on over. Nice, solid plank position. If you need to, drop a knee, but really try hard. Here we go. Three, two, one. Find that plank position, then rock over and back. Boom, and back, come on. Stay focused, rock and back. Nice and controlled the whole time, come on. 10 more seconds before we pause. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, here we go, three, two, one. Rock over and back. Okay, we're not gonna go up, we're gonna keep with the mat. We're gonna do walkouts with shoulder taps. Okay, that's our next activity. 15 more seconds of the plank saws though, come on. Drive it over and back. Woo, yeah baby, come on. Stay focused. Woo, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk it out to plank. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk that baby back, okay? As fast as you can, right? We want to do this as a cardio function. Of course, we're working that core, but we're pumping that hard, okay? Let's rock it in three, two, one. Walk it out, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Now we need those shoulder taps. I don't want those hips winking, right? They're staying nice and steady, facing the mat, okay? That's the control. So as fast as you can, but really control that movement on those hips. Come on, 15 more seconds. Stay controlled, you got this, come on. Boom, and back. Four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, here we go in three, two, one. Walk that baby out, tap it, tap it. Let's walk that baby back. Ooh. You're doing awesome. Lots of input in that shoulder. Really important for that shoulder. So work in that core. Come on, 10 more seconds. We're gonna go down to our, the side. Woo, <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do some mermaid crunches. We're gonna twist those legs. We're gonna take that elbow and we're gonna drive that knee to that elbow to the best you can, okay? If you need to, just do what the top leg. If you can, try both, okay? Here we go in three, two, one, dry that up, and you guessed it, okay? We'll, after the pause, we'll split sides, okay? Drive it up, okay? You're driving those knees, and you're trying to get that elbow to the knees. It's crunching from both directions. I'm lifting my upper body, and I'm driving those knees in. Boom, and back. Come on, 10 more seconds before we flip sides. Five, four, three, two, Oh, one, pause, other side, in three, two, 
One, let's go. Drive that up and back. Oh yeah. For our cardio piece we're gonna do next, after we finish these mermaids, is gonna be step jacks, okay? Boom, and back. Come on, 15 more seconds of these mermaids. Feeling amazing. Oh yeah. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, Oh, one and rest. Okay, we're doing some step jacks. Kind of like we did in the beginning. Maybe you can go a little bit faster. Okay, all the way up to the top. All the way, okay? Get that heart pumping, moving and shaking. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, boom. Give me that bounce, okay? We're heart pumping, okay? Give me the bounce, give me a little bit of a speed. We're not jumping. So we're moving and shaking. Keep going, you got it, come on. Bounce, step, all the way. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, let's do it one more time. Here we go in three, two, one. Boom, come on. Keep that bounce. Okay, we'll go down and do star abs next. We'll be on our back. Oh yeah, love those. But you got 10 more seconds of the step jacks first. Let's go. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down on the back. Okay, we're gonna go into a ball, and then we're gonna explode out as much as you can and drive that in. Work those low abs, we're gonna wreck you some more. So we got all of this, are you ready? In three, two, one, out, and in. Explode out. Think of yourself as like a big, beautiful star exploding out and then driving that in. Okay, working our lower abs when we drive those knees in. Working that rectus abdominis as we drive our chest up. Boom, and back, come on. 10 more seconds before we pause and reset. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, let's do that one more time. In three, two, one. Here we go, out and in. We're gonna go up after this. We're gonna do some kick and punches. Oh, yeah. Pump that hurt a little bit more. Come on, stay focused. You got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna do, it's not gonna be as, we're gonna do like a kick and a punch. So opposite side, punching out and kicking. Okay, lift with that hip and kick. It's not full kickboxing, but it's heart pumping action. Let's try this. In three, two, one, boom. So tap it down, kick and punch. Okay, lift and kick, opposite sides, a little bit easier for balance. Okay, we'll pause and reset and go to the other side, okay? So we'll be even Steven, no worries. Kick it and punch it, punch. That body, let's go. Pump that heart, 10 more seconds on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, let's reset. Here we go, three, two, one. Punch, kick, other side. Okay, when we're done with these, we'll go down to the ground and do a butterfly sit up. Ooh, it looks so pretty, right? <laughs> Come on, 15 more seconds of this. Boom, boom, boom. All the way to that buzzer. Come on, kick and punch for five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, Woo. we're gonna go down and we're gonna make ourselves a butterfly. We're gonna come down and we're gonna come up. Now, I don't want you coming from those shoulders. 
I want you coming from that belly button, lift it up and back down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pull from the belly button, not from the shoulders. Like the string is pulling you up and back down. The reason why I like the butterfly is it opens up those hips, takes out those hip flexors, making you work those abs just a little bit more. Come on, 15 more seconds before we pause. Keep going, pull from that belly button. All the way, four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset one more time in three. Two, one, all the way up, Woo. and back down. Pull in from, okay? All the way up, come on. We're gonna do a swing jack next. It's still gonna be in the step jack motion, okay? Just gonna use those arms to swing, make it a little bit different, okay? 10 more seconds of this though. Uh, five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Okay. Whew. So we're gonna take those arms, okay? We're gonna hinge down and swing, okay? But we're gonna do it with a step. Boom, boom. So a little bit of a squat, a little bit of a step, hinge down, let's rock it in three, two, one. Drive it up. Okay, so a nice good hinge swing, and then it'll bounce up, boom and back, kind of think of those kettlebell swings when we do that. Hinging down, driving up, boom. Okay, so I'm sitting back, hinging over. Woo, yeah, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause and reset one more time. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, hinge and drive. Got it, come on, hinge and drive it. Fifteen more seconds. All the way to that buzzer, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down and doing some leg circles. So on your back, okay? And we're gonna do circles, clockwise and counterclockwise. Or you can do one leg the first round, other leg on the second round, okay? Here we go, three, two, one leg circles. Okay, keeping that back nice and steady against the mat. Don't let it press harder, don't let it arch more. Okay, that's the challenge. Low ab working, hello. Whew. Okay, we'll go the other direction. Or you can do the other side. Like I said, it's easier if you just do one leg at a time. Modify where you need to. You got 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, pause. Let's reset that in three, two, one. Other side. Woo! Okay. Keep that low back. Pay attention, right? You want that nice and stable. That's what's working those abs. Those little abs to keep that nice and steady. Okay, we're gonna go up and we're gonna do circle kicks. Man, we're gonna work those hips. Come on. Woo! 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do some circle kicks. I told you a lot of ups and downs today. Woo! Okay, keeping that leg straight, circle it. Circle it, you can do, I'm gonna alternate, but you can do one just one side and then just the other. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, circle kick it, boom, boom. Like I said, it feels like, like the karate kid, right? Wax on, wax off with your feet. Okay, up and around, good hip mobility, making these big rainbow kicks, boom, and boom. 15 more seconds. got it, come on, stay focused. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset, round two in three, two, one. All the way over, boom. 
Woo. Okay, when we're done with these, we're gonna go down and do plank walks. We're gonna go from low plank to high plank. And back. You got 20 seconds left of this first though. Come on, keep that moving and shaking. You got this, come on. Stay focused, 10 more seconds. All the way to that buzzer for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna go tall plank to low plank. The key is to keep those hips from rocking. It's a slow and controlled, not letting those hips rock. If you need to, drop one knee down or drop into both knees. Okay, modify where you need to. Here we go, three, two, one. Find that plank position and rock and back up. Alternate which side you go. Okay, one side's gonna feel a little more natural. And if you're not paying attention, you'll do the same side over and over again. Whew. Stay focused, working those shoulders, okay? If you have to drop down to the knee, that's just lessening that body weight, that's okay. Stay focused though, keeping those hips nice and stable. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, let's pause, reset. One more time, here we go, three, two, one, down and up. We're gonna do another jack action up top after this. I know you're excited, so two more seconds of this though. Stay focused, you got it. All the way to that buzzer, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing some attack jacks. Okay, so we're going out wide, squat out wide, like you're a big alligator, out and wide in those jaws, okay? I know they usually go this way, but we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Here we go, in three, two, one, out. Okay, big squat, step, squat, squeeze those, okay, work that chest, work those hips, pump that heart, come on. <sighs> nice work, come on. Woo, we're starting to get close to that finish line, okay? It's easy to slow down, not give it all you got. Stay focused, stay moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset one more time. Here we go, three, two, one. Boom, and in. Come on, squat it out, squeeze, right there. We're gonna go down, we're gonna be at a tall point. We're gonna do a leg extension to a knee drive. First round will be right side, second round left or whatever, one side, one, one side, the other. But you got 10 more seconds of this. Squeeze, squat, move, shake for five, four, three, two, whoops, one, and rest. Okay, gotta coordinate, stay safe. Okay, I'm gonna do my mat this way. Okay, leg extension, drive it in. Okay, keeping that nice solid back. Here we go, in three, two, one. Find that plank position. Extend that leg, drive that knee in. Squeeze that glute, drive that knee in. Now you may not be able to get that knee all the way to that elbow, but that's the direction. We'll do the other side after we pause, okay? Woo, halfway there on this side. You got this, come on, stay focused. All the way to that buzzer, we've got five, four, three, two, one, pause. Other side in, three, two, one, lift and drive. Squeeze that glute, drive that knee, boom, and back. Stay controlled, we're gonna go up and up. Uh, after this, do some lunge and squats. 10 more seconds of this though. Squeeze that glute, drive that knee in. Keep that solid core for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do step back, step back, squat, okay? So step back twice, one on each side, and then squat that baby out, okay? Here we go, Woo. in three, 
two, one, step, step, squat. Now it doesn't have to go back as far as you would for a lunge, okay? You're, it's about moving quickly. Drive with those arms, boom, step back, step back. Squat it, come on, 15 more seconds. You got it, come on, we're gonna pause in five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, here we go, three, two, one, rock that baby. Step back, step back, squat it. You got it, come on. We're gonna go down. We're gonna do not a Russian twist, but a rainbow twist. Oh yeah, it'll be our last ab core activity, okay? But finish here for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna sit on that sit bone, okay? And we're gonna take those arms. We're gonna go from one side up, overhead to the other side, okay? The farther back, the harder. Up higher, easier. Here we go, three, two, one. Make it harder, lift those feet up. Make it a little easier and more stable. Put those feet down, up and over. I want you twisting and touching those hands and then getting them up and over. Woo! Yeah, work those obliques. <laughs> You're working your abdomen, your rectus abdominis by keeping those that, that chest up there and those lower abs. Oh yeah, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's pause, reset, last one. In three, two, one, okay, like I said, last quote unquote core activity. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more heart pumping cardio. We're gonna do a plank to a stand. No jumping, stepping, moving, shaking to finish strong. 15 more seconds of this though, come on all the way. You got it, we're getting close to that finish line. Don't shortchange it now. Here we go. Woo, we've got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, this is our last activity. Whoop. I'm not gonna use the mat on that one. Okay, plank, step, stand all the way up, back down to the plank. Move and shake as fast as you can. Finish strong, okay? We got this in three, two, one. So you may be faster, you may be slower than me. If you wanna hop, go ahead. I just was taking out the jumping today. Come on, pump that heart. Give me all the way, full hip extension up and back down. Can you move faster? Push your body. Come on, this is all we've got. You got it. Woo. All the way to that buzzer. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Here's our ball finish. You got this in three, two, one. Come on, 30 seconds of work. Boom, and back, let's go. You can do it. Woo. All the way to that buzzer. Come on, 15 more seconds. Keep moving, don't shortchange it. Go all the way to that buzzer. With all your might for five, four, three, two, one. And a rest, okay. Let's grab that mat. Let's go down on that stretch out, okay? Let's go into a nice child's pose. Oh, that feels so good. Exhale, let that drop. Okay, come on up, drop those hips and give me a nice good extension. <laughs> Exhale through that. Okay, now look over that right side just a little bit. Exhale through that. Then look over that left shoulder. Exhale through it as I drip sweat. Okay, and back in to child's pose. Whew. This time, let's open up those hips into a frog and child's pose, getting that, whew, that pelvic floor, those inner hips, inner thighs. Exhale through it, nice work. Come on up, let's do a half kneel position. I'm gonna grab it. Okay, tilt that pelvis forward. Let's get that 
hip flexor and let's lean on over and get those laterals. Exhale through it, get a little bit further. Oh yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna wrap that arm around, push that knee open and twist on open. Okay, now drive that hip a little bit more forward. Exhale through it. That feels mighty fine, doesn't it? Okay, let's do the other side. Tilt that pelvis forward. Lean on over. Exhale through it. Really exhale and push through that stretch. Nice work. Okay, come on up. Open that hip. Twist that open and drive that chest a little bit further as you exhale. Yeah. Okay, come on up. We're gonna paint those arms, make a nice good C position, press that out, and then hinge down. Okay, grab those elbows, let that head sink. Exhale, now slowly roll that up, and then give yourself a high five for rocking that way to go. Make sure you're grabbing some water, some high quality protein, preferably in the next 30 minutes to really recover and repair so you're ready to rock tomorrow, and then have a great day. Hey guys, did you love that workout? Did you know this is part of a series called Bold? Bold is about being courageous, about being strong. It's pushing us to be better, right? We're gonna push our strength. We're gonna push our cardio. We're gonna push our mentality to really get our body in that right place. Join me, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button so you never miss what's coming next. Really join in and have some fun with it. Also, make sure you join me on social media so that we can stay connected. I love to give tips and get, keep you informed about what's going on. So make sure we are friends, make sure you subscribe, and then have a great day.